All right, dude. We're the Fork Buckets, and welcome back to Devil May Cry. Yeah. Today we got Mission Two: The Judge of Death. Now, can we power up anything? Probably, but I'd rather not. Wait till you get more. Hey, yeah. Wait till I get more. Pringles, the original did mega I, stack. Wait, did I power up shit last time? No, I don't wait, think so. I don't, no, I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, well, really, there's nothing really to power up, so. <clears throat> yeah. So start. Mission start. Mission start. Yeah. Pump it! Pump it! Let's go inside this door. And here wasn't that painting in that hall? Was one it? of the these statues? I, uh, if you guys uh, saw it, it's this. You know. Yeah. Power up. Power up some stuff like that. Oosh. Hell yeah! Now we have two, right? Yeah. And the virtual, sir. Wait, did you buy that? No. It, you automatically have it as soon as you start. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wasn't that painting um, a secret mission or something? That painting? Yeah. Oh, no, that painting has a secret, but you can't get to it now. Oh. Much later. Like, we're on mission two. You get to it at mission 17. Oh. Yeah, yep. so it's further in the game. All right. This is my favorite scene right here. We gotta be quiet for this. I swear to God. <coughs> okay. Stop coughing. Okay. Die somewhere else. <laughs> Douche. Yeah. My favorite cutscene here. Well, yeah, one of my favorites, but I, I like this one. It's really fucking badass. Oh, I guess I could have been reading that. Oh, but it's just the one with a heart piercing or, like a like a sword piercing your heart. I can hear a voice. I am Alistair. The weak shall give their heart. Hentai. And swear their eternal loyalty to me. Hentai. Stop showing me hentai. <laughs> Let's just be quiet for this cutscene. I love it. <clears throat> well, then again, there's no dialogue, but it's just straight up badass. Ooh. Yeah, he's gonna go all the way up, and he's gonna let that thing go all the way through him. Grab it. Oh. Feel the might. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull, I have the power! He man, <laughs> he she man. Shut up. Yeah, it's a really badass scene. Alistair gives the possessor lightning speed and aerial capabilities. Not exactly yet, like I can't do anything. But now, as you see under our under our uh, vitality, we have symbols. And those are a devil trigger meter. Oh. <coughs> Interesting. Okay, so here, something glowing. It's a Grim Reaper-like devil is depicted. <coughs> Stop coughing. Go die somewhere else. Fuck you, man. Key's embedded. Should I take the key? Yes, we'll take the random key that's embedded inside of a picture of a Grim Reaper-like devil. There's a band called Hugh among this. <laughs> uh, another... This one's not really much of a secret. Well, I guess it is, but... You really don't need this at all to, like, beat the game, but it's cool to have all the weapons. Yeah. At first I thought there was, like, a secret here somewhere when I first started playing this. I got confused a lot of the times. Yeah, and I saw you struggle like a little bitch. <laughs> I know. I struggled so much. Oh, it! <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, now I have, like, lightning speed. Wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, slash these puppets. And watch you know, you don't have to, right? Now watch this shit. 
Yeah. Like lightning speed shit. That shit's always fun. But yeah, that's basically what Devil Trigger does. It, it's like a... It varies for different weapons. Like for this weapon, you're faster <coughs> and you deal more damage. Well, for every one of them, you deal more damage. Oh, we're looking through the water fountain. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> because looking through a water fountain is physically possible. Anyways. It's just more badass stuff that keeps happening in this game. It's friggin' amazing. Come on, let me get up there. He yeah, doesn't want you to get up there. Well, I'm up here now. Alright. More puppets! Why are there always puppets? See, I don't know if you saw, if you saw like some rip ripples through the air. But that's like one of the puppets I was screaming. And if you're inside of that, inside of that uh, general area, this I never knew what this was for. Like you read it says, there's something engraved beneath the opening. This is where the guiding souls gather. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what the hell that thing is for because it's never really important to like beat the game. There's something written here. God stands before the. To open the path, use thy strength to drive it back. Yep. And now it's you open. just. And then you drop here. Mystical tree. What are your needs? Suck my big green leafy dick. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff of judgment and stuff that shines in with a mysterious light. And now this path opens. Remember when I said that it uses rooms over and over again? Yeah. Well, the, uh, some of the rooms are connected, like right here. You saw where we get that rusty key from that picture. Huh? What? A sealed door? What could this mean? What does this all mean? It means you're not getting the fuck out. Alive. <laughs> Let's see. You took the key to my car, bitch. And now I'm gonna kill you, bitch. The all two of us. <clears throat> Three of us. How many of you guys are there? I have no idea. These guys have a weak point. It's their eyes. Their eyes are the weak point. But where the fuck are their eyes? If you hit them right in the eye with anything, they they just die. It's like a one-hit kill for them. No, not every enemy is like that, and I wish it was. And I wish it was like that for every enemy. Be pretty cool. Yeah, it would be. <clears throat> Long-lasting flavor. Die, little spiders, die. Die, little spiders, die. Die, die, die. Yes, we shall use it. I don't know why I skipped through all of that. But it's just basically tell you. It's the statue of Judge of Death. It's a carving. Shall I use the staff? Yes, use the staff. Mission clear. And what's my score? B! 200. Bay! Believe it or not, that is. Ranking bonus? That's 200. like. It's like not enough to get the upgrade that I need. What upgrade do you need? Uh, well, I'll show you guys. Uh, eh, this is a way too short video. Let's do one more mission. All right, one more mission. Next mission, we'll do one. We'll do one more mission. Some of these missions are shorter than the others, and some of them are extremely long. Like Alistair, now you have power ups for Alistair. I need the air raid. This one, I can become airborne and capable of performing aerial electrocution attacks. Electrocution attacks. Nice. I need 750. I do not have 750. Uh, there's a little part in here that uh, lets me get more orbs, and I think I can get enough. For that? Now both doors are sealed. 
And there's something there. An altar. Step up to the altar. Run, Dante! Run! Run, Dante! Run! Run, Dante! Run! Run, Dante! <clears throat> the pride of lion is granted only to those who choose the path of trials. Oh yeah, that actually has to tie into a... I don't know if, where I used the rusty key in the last mission. Yeah. If you saw like a purple shield thing covering up some line looking thing. Oh yeah. I need to get this thing. And now it's so, just time to leave. Well no, it's time to well it's gonna put me through a trial, so this is where the trial is. Mm. Then we just cross this bridge. You been what? You have been, I've been what? I've been what? You've been a faggot all day. That's mean, Edwin. Yeah, <laughs> kidding. Yeah. These are definitely not enough orbs. Now, let's read this thing. It states, go back the path and thou shalt return from the abyss. With thy lion heart and thou shalt receive the pride of lion. So it's basically saying, go back the way I came from, and I'm just going to end up coming You'll back be. from the abyss. But Thunderstruck! It's cold in here, isn't it? A little bit. Are you getting a sweater? Yes. Yeah, just grab that sweater. Well, it's cold! <laughs> Alright, whatever. Well, inside here, uh, underwater... Like in places like this. Dun, 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 dun. All the train needs to step dun, 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 dun. on that. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Give me orbs. <laughs> yes, orbs. You like SpongeBob? Orbs. You like SpongeBob? Yes, I like SpongeBob. You like SpongeBob, don't you, bitch? Yes, I do. <laughs> this jacket is cool. But you see, like up there. Like you see the door and then you go up and you see like a like a floating rock in the air. Yeah. I'm supposed to be able to jump on top of that thing and get a blue orb, but I don't have the wing things and I can't buy them right now. So It was a bad idea to get this jacket. It's cold as Wait, fuck. hold on. I think I missed something. What'd you miss? If I if I'm doing it correctly. What did you miss? Fuck. Okay, hold on. Does it still let me do it? No, it doesn't. Okay, we're back. Um, on if you drop down into the water from the other side, you come back up here and you get a blue orb. And we have now you have three, but I'm pretty sure there's a secret mission here somewhere. Fuck. Oh well. We tried to find a secret mission there. Well, like I'm pretty sure there's a like. A secret mission here. I know I mentioned that last time, but there's supposed to be a secret mission there. But I can't remember. But we got a blue orb anyway, so that's at least decent. Oh well. And now we just retrieve our pride of lion. Boom, 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 boom. Pride of lion, a sign of the strong of the strong. It allows confrontation with the lion gatekeeper. Now what? Now what, Edwin? I don't know. <laughs> Let's be quiet and see what the spider has to say. Pissed him off. But you piss him off, my dude. I don't know. I know he's pissed off. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, but this guy's easy. He's the first boss, so of course he's easy. Yeah. Now we just, uh, you know, just slash him with the sword. Yeah, this guy's name is Phantom. He's the first boss. Why can't he be called Volcano Goma? Volcano Goma. 
He's he's super easy. He's he doesn't do that much damage to you, unless you're an idiot and you get stuck. Like, well, if I say you're an idiot, it's because like you've been playing this game for so long, and you let him beat you. If you're a first timer, I understand. The first time I played this game, I lost to him like two or three times. You know. Yeah. Then again, I was only a kid and I didn't know very well how to play games. But if you've been playing this game for as long as I have, and you lose to him, still on normal mode. There's something wrong there, dude. But if it's your first time, eh, whatever. Unless you're, like, a skilled... I don't know. I don't think there's any exceptions for a lot of people... For too many people. Mission clear! And you got enough for an air raid. <laughs> for the air raid one, yes. And we got a B. Yeah, we got B. Okay, now it's time to save on our number 7 file. Time to go save on our seven file. Let's save it right there. Yes, right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, well, today we did two missions today, so we're making progress. Anyways, I hope you're enjoying this, Edron. I am. Good. But you know what's sad? Me that texting your ex? Shut up. No. Okay. The sad thing is that, uh,. It has to end. It has to end right here, yes. So we'll be back next time with some more Devil May Cry. So that's it for this episode of Devil May Cry. We'll see you guys on the next... Okay, no, keep on going. Shut up. On the next... Fuck buckets!